August the 12th, 2015. Guys, this is an update on our project from Fukushima Radiation.info. And it's a promise that I made that I would let every no, everyone know that's involved with it and in the entire YouTube community that did, comes and watches our channel and participates and more than anything else contributes to this cause because we're the only ones in, on the planet that I know of that are doing it. So that's a plus in itself. But you're looking at a flyer that's full color, gloss, eight and a half by 11, designed by Jared Adams that has designed the billboards that you've seen on our website. He's doing this all at no cost because he believes in our cause. That tells you he has a good heart. Now, if you look at the text in the bottom, when you're dealing with a template, and Jared's done this for about 30 years in advertisement, you, it comes with just Latin in the text. It's where you come in and overlay and put the text that you want. So that's what you're looking at there. Now, he's added a map of the Fukushima radiation. The reason I'm excited about this is we've been looking so hard under every rock on the West Coast to find an effective way to get into that area. And today, I think we really got a break. I talked to a guy in Los Angeles that owns a company named FlyerBiz.com. And what they do, they print these full-color gloss flyers. Then they have a crew that's monitored by GPS, that go out and hand deliver these. Now, it's about 25% or it's about 75% cheaper than the mail because we can get these color gloss flyers printed, heavy paper, full color, printed and delivered for 13 cents a piece. Think about a postage stamp. Now, another thing this company offers and the reason I contacted them is because I'm familiar with the industry. I understand how they work. Anyway, in other words, we can get 10,000 of these colored gloss flowers hand-delivered into the most exclusive locations in Los Angeles in the Orange County area, including St. Clemente, Newport, Laguna Hills, Huntington Beach, and orange, those cities there. He covers the entire area and he has crews that go in after they print these and hand deliver them. There's a big advantage there because, again, I've been in the industry. You can put a flyer in direct mail. You're not going to get any cheaper than that, but it's going to get thrown in a pile in the uh, garbage can because it comes in that mass of junk mail. These are hand delivered. We'll have the web address. Let me pull this up just a little. Take a look at what he's done. He did an excellent job. Notice the uh, QR code in the bottom of the square there. You can just scan that, guys, and it will send you to the website, FukushimaRadiation.info. Now, when I talked to the owner of the company, I asked him, I said, we need to go into the best parts of the area, and that's the ones that I mentioned. I said, we... What we're trying to do is raise awareness and get some more backers so that we can continue to do this. Now, what's great about this, remember, and I've said this, that the billboards, the digital billboards that we are focusing on in L.A. are about $10,000 a month, 44000 or around that area, impressions. Now, what this does is different. We can put 10000 into this area that includes printing and delivery for $1,300. That's 13 cents a piece. You can't mail something that cheap. And then remember, it includes the heavy paper with the gloss printing. I do not think we're going to beat this deal, guys. We have over $3,300, I think, now in our fund. We could actually go to 20,000 homes. And save a hundred dollars. It goes from thirteen cents to twelve point five cents, and that would give us that would add Huntington Beach, Orange, and some of those counties. But he actually covers about a hundred thousand homes, and that would be good in that area. But one way to approach it, I think, is to hit the key areas, the people that have the money that would get behind the project and work with us 
to expand it so that everyone knows catch that section of Los Angeles and move up the coast westward towards Canada, go city to city, because we can now, at this time, put 10000 in L.A., again, in the best places, and with the money we have, put 10000 in San Francisco. I don't think we're going to beat this. It's a lot cheaper than the billboards, and it's hand-delivered, again, not in the mail, not with the junk mail. Everything's GPS tracked, the way he tracks all of his drivers, keeps up with it, keeps everyone straight. And another thing is I said that I would do a video and ask you guys about it so that we're kind of voting on the same thing. What I'll do, and I'll call him back tomorrow. I told him I'd let him know. Right now, Jared Adams is getting the artwork. We're going to send the true text that you'll see in here that will pl replace the text that's in the template. We'll have that ready. We'll send it to him tomorrow if you guys approve it. We can do it two ways. You can say yes or no in the comments of this video or d click thumbs up on the video on the video itself. Just let me know because I said I would be fair and we this would be a voting progress among all of us. But guys, I've been around this a long time. I've been around printing and publishing a long time since I was a kid and I worked at the local newspaper. So I've seen a lot of things come up and go, but this looks like the right way to do it. In other words, it's not cheap, eight and a half by 11 copy paper. It's a heavier uh, weight, again, gloss, and that's both sides. So on the back, we can put additional information. We don't want to overcrowd it, but we can actually put a couple of headlines from the local, I mean, from the most recent events that are occurring at Fukushima and the effects that are coming into the West Coast of the United States. But again, I want to be fair about it. We haven't spent a dime. We're not going to until I hear from you. So let me know in the comments. I've looked at probably a dozen different avenues in this last week, guys, and talked to a lot of people. So let me know what you think. It's a heads up. Be safe. Let me know. Japan has restarted their first nuclear reactor to generate electricity since 2013. And that's really bad news. Remember what happened in 2013? Why Japan closed all of its reactors abruptly? Why we're still tracing the spread, the plume of radioactive material across our Pacific coast and into the atmosphere? I mean, first there was the earthquake that did significant damage to that island country, and then a tsunami quickly followed. And what happened next was the largest nuclear meltdown in the history of the world and the evacuation of 160,000 locals who lived in the area of the Fukushima power plant. We now know that Tokyo Electric, TEPCO, the owner of the Fukushima plant, had been warned years earlier about the dangers of an earthquake and a tsunami hitting that very plant. No one did anything about it then. But even if they had, do we have any reason to believe it would have been enough? Because that's the gamble that the Japanese nuclear industry is making with all of our futures right now. The simple fact about nuclear power generation is that the risks and the costs dramatically outweigh any benefit. We've seen some of the risks. In Chernobyl, we saw how human error can cause a meltdown. In the Three Mile Island incident, we saw how the private corporations aren't afraid to cut corners to pad their bottom line, even if that risks a partial nuclear meltdown. And in Fukushima, we saw what happens when corporate negligence meets a natural disaster. Considering nuclear power's track record and the staggering risks involved, it's amazing that anyone will insure nuclear projects. And the simple fact is that without government backing, like the Price-Anderson Act here in the United States, nuclear power would be impossible because no private insurance company will fully cover it. And to add insult to injury, nuclear power is actually not an alternative energy source. It's incredibly fossil fuel intensive in its processes. We can start with how much cement is required to contain and protect the reactors and other sensitive parts of the plant. Cement and concrete are hugely greenhouse gas intensive to produce. And the only way we know how to protect our power plants is to use more concrete. Beyond that, the size of the project requires tons of truckloads of materials being hauled in and away, adding to the toll of carbon costs. Even if we just look at the material inputs used in nuclear power, it is carbon intensive to mine uranium. 
It is carbon intensive to enrich uranium, and we still don't know what to do with all that nuclear waste. The reality is that there are economically viable and truly clean energy alternatives. Geothermal, solar, wind, tidal wave power. These are all options that Japan could be using right now. And they're options that have none of the risks and none of the costs associated with enriched radioactive material. And bringing those renewable options online, it's not nearly as costly in terms of carbon or in money, frankly, as it is to bring a nuclear power plant online. The reality is the only reason anyone wants to bring these nuclear power plants back online is that when for-profit companies like TEPCO run nuclear power with massive government subsidies and government paid for insurance, it can be hugely profitable. Nuclear power is not a bridge fuel. It is not a clean alternative, and it can't be our future. In the 1940s, scientists marveled at the idea of using fission to safely create large amounts of energy indefinitely, and they were wrong. The only reason we're clinging to that fantasy today is that the for-profit nuclear owners, think Montgomery Burns from The Simpsons, don't care about the cost of nuclear power to society. They'll happily sell the future of life on Earth just to make a buck today, which is why both Japan and the United States should just say no to nuclear power. And that's the way it is tonight, Tuesday, August 11th, 2015. And don't forget, democracy begins with you. Get out there, get active, tag, you're it.